What's up everybody? So I am starting a new playlist on my channel. Um, I am currently in my truck right now driving. I am going to be doing a playlist about me upgrading and modifying my Tacoma. Um, I'll show you a picture or video of my truck when I get to the place I'm going. Um, I've already done a couple things to my truck. The first thing I've done was I got, uh, I did a blackout kit on the chrome pieces on the outside of my truck. So like uh, all the all the lettering, like the Toyota Tacoma lettering, the V6, all that stuff, I did a blackout over it. So it deleted the whole chrome part. So now it's black lettering. Uh, I could have done it the, real, the, the good way, which is you take the actual emblems off and all that stuff and the lettering off and you clean it, you get rid of all the adhesive you get the new ones and put it all onto it and everything which i didn't really want to go through that hassle because me being my first upgrade or first mod uh so what i did was i bought uh overlays is what they're called and it's like a hollow piece of plastic and it has like a foam sticker on the inside so you just it just pops over the original existing one and it sticks to it and it holds it there so I'll show you what those ones when I get to the I'm heading to the garage right now because I'm gonna get another mod for my truck um, I will show you those and then currently I'm going to be getting a remote start and I don't know if I can record in the garage or if it's just like I drop my truck off and then I go through there um, I'll let you guys know I'll keep you guys posted and everything and then the second thing I upgraded my truck was on the interior if I grab it I bought these like silicone like matte things because I have a red truck so black and red and this one actually goes right inside here and it like fits in perfectly I have one down there got some of the cup holders down there down there almost all the way around my whole interior of my truck so like all the cup holders the little side compartments and the doors all that stuff um, what I plan on doing or after I get the remote start right now um, after that's done, I'll wait a little bit, upgrade my truck again. But what I plan on doing, hey, let me roll my windows up. What I plan on doing is getting a roof rack, a bed rack, and converting my truck into kind of like a camper. So like I can go camping in it, go off-roading and stuff, and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, and I, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I'm gonna be getting lights and stuff all done to my truck. And I'm gonna be getting a custom uh, switch panel. I believe it's called Oxbeam. And then I'll just make a bracket to fit it. I, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. I'm either gonna do right here on my dash, the, the little board right here, and I can push the buttons to turn everything on. Or what I was thinking about doing was, uh, I don't know if everyone knows what it looks like in a Tacoma, but right here, there's a little compartment and you open it down and you have sunglasses in there and stuff. I was thinking about making a bracket to go inside of there. So it, it, I think it would be really cool if I'm just driving and I want to turn my lights on or whatever. And I just push that and the whole door goes down. And then you just see lights and little buttons and stuff. And then you can just turn it on or off and stuff. Um, I have reached out to a couple companies to see if they want to either sponsor me or help me out with something. I haven't heard a response back. I'll keep you guys posted on that part. Um, yeah, and I will do a review and I will show you guys everything that they did to my truck if I'm not able to record inside there. Um, but if I am, then I'll show you guys what, as I'm doing it. But I think I might not be able to. I think it might be a drop off. But I, even if I do the drop off and after my appointment is done or the, what they're doing is done, then I will go under my hood, show you guys what they, what's new, what's different, um, show you guys me using the remote and everything, and then I will see if I can give their place a shout out, and I will show you guys where it is and all that stuff, and I will keep you guys posted. But I am currently almost there. I got uh, three minutes left, and then I'll be there. Gonna have to ask dad. Oh yeah, 
I don't know if you guys noticed yet, but I did make a sweater for my channel. I was gonna think about making merch. Um, I don't know how I could go about starting that if I just make it online and then have it connected to a company and they just make it whenever they get an order or however that goes. I'm gonna try reaching out to a couple people, see if they're sponsored, or not sponsored, see if they have their own merch and if they do, I can talk to them, see what they did and how, how to get started with that. And then I'll start making merch and set, so you guys can have it. Um, Cause I, what I'm planning on doing is planning on making a hat that had either my logo, my name on it or whatever. Uh, making a couple more either sweaters or any a couple of anything really anything um, but I'll keep you guys posted I am currently working on a new logo for my channel it's currently my logo is this guy right here I am currently thinking about making something because I'm gonna be doing stuff on my truck and 3d printing and all that stuff so I will let you guys know if I'm gonna go through with that but what my th idea is is make it because my guy is a cartoon kind of character so what i plan on doing is making it all look kind of cartoony and either have like a have a drawing of my truck and then have my my logo guy hanging out the window and like having like 3d printers in the bed of the truck or, or having like car parts hit falling out of the truck or whatever because that's what my channel is going to be about which is going to be about upgrading my truck maybe even start vlogging going off-roading and stuff in my truck if I get time or if I find a place I have looked up recently I have looked for trails to go on for my truck um, but there's none of them close to me if anything it's like a two-hour drive or something just to get to one place so it might have to be like a I have to have like a day or two off of work and then I can be able to go out and do that um, as of right now, I don't know if that's going to work out or not, but I will keep you guys posted on that and I will take recordings, videos, pictures, and I will post it either on my channel, my community page, or I will show it in the next video if I can't get recordings and talk about it. But I am actually pulling up to the place right now and I will keep you guys posted. Alrighty, I just pulled up to the place. I'm not gonna say the name of the place or anything. I'm gonna actually walk down there, see if I can record either their shop or in their shop, and I will get back to you guys. But I'm gonna keep it rolling just so I don't have to have multiple clips. So I'll be right back. Respect their wishes and everything, and I will let you guys know in a couple seconds. Here's a better view of the thing. Heidi, uh, I was wondering if I was able to record for my YouTube channel in here. I was wondering if I could record for my YouTube channel in here. Um, I have appointment for a remote starter for my truck. Um, I, I don't. I didn't know where I could park. I parked down on the side over here. The Toyota Tacoma. Jackpot last night, the second biggest lottery prize of all time. The winning ticket was bought in Fraser Park. Oh, all right. Yep. Alrighty. <laughs> Most people opt for. There you go. Wow, well, I was thinking, oh, I didn't check my ticket, but it's not a good Alright, finally this hour. I'm sold out phenomenal. Been here before? Nope, first time. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm starting on my YouTube channel, uh, upgrading my truck because eventually I'm going to turn it into going off roading and camping and everything. Okay, okay. So this is going to be the first mod for my channel. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so just pulled up to the place, leaving all my information and stuff, and it is going to be a drop off, so I will let you guys know when I pick it up.
Do you mind if I put your guys' uh, store in, in my video and everything? Right. Just wanted to make sure before I do it. Yeah, currently for my channel I do 3D printing, uh, cosplay props oh, yeah? and stuff. Right. So I'm also going to be starting to do another playlist of doing my truck and everything. Oh, you guys also do cameras and stuff? And for those cameras, are they like the anytime camera so you can just flip a switch and your screen connects to whatever that camera is on? Because right now I have a backup cam and when I plan on doing off-roading and stuff, I want to be able to like switch the camera to front view. What kind of what kind of radio right now do you have? Uh, SR5. No, the, the radio. Oh, oh. Um, you have the factory? Yeah. Let me look at it in the original. Because mm -hmm. I, I wanted to be able to have a camera front facing and rear facing. And rear facing. Okay. So I can either flip the switch for front view or put it in reverse so it shows the back view. But I want to be able to, so if I'm going like over a hill to see if I can either make that drop or if it's too mm -hmm. steep for me so I can be able to see. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because can't really see that much when you're looking through the over the hood. I know. So if this place is called Car Audio Solutions, right there, and I will put a screenshot or a video of the box i believe that's the one i'm getting right there and here's another view of it it's a key locks unlock trunk and then start the car as well they have they do all radio systems and everything cameras as you guys just heard me talking about it they do lights cleaning stuff sound systems yes you guys can check out their Instagram go on their page they ask they send you an email to either say they can do your project whatever you're trying to do or they send you an estimate on the pricing so you can so you don't have to come all the way down here to see if it's a little too much or not they do lights definitely gonna be coming back here for some more stuff Both these. Yes. another one and how, how to use it. Lock, press, press again, lock, and press and hold it. Start. Already. Nice. And then when you're out there, did you happen to look at the screen? Yes. I will call you. I text the company to see if they have something like that they can switch because I, I have seen a couple videos of uh, people having I don't know if it was their factory screen but they have uh, a screen kind of like mine in their Tacomas and they have cameras that are mount they can they put onto the front of their truck which, the yeah. yeah so that you can flip it I've seen some of them where they, they say like this is the screen you flip the switch and it does half screen front camera half screen back camera yeah. Yeah. so you can see like all the stuff mm -hmm. there is yeah I know what you're talking about I'll let you know later on yeah. mm -hmm. Alrighty. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. So just finished setting all that stuff up, and now let's go check it out. So yep, this is the place right here, right there. Car Audio Solutions. There's my truck. Let's try it out. 
so he said there's the key this button right here I think he said push it or hold it Why do I have to un unlock it? There's no clue. Oh, there we go. It just started. It's not unlocking now. There we go. I'm gonna go over if the camera focuses. I'm gonna go through all the manual and stuff on that when I get home. So currently, he installed it and everything. Doesn't look any different in here. Screen isn't on though, because it started and everything. But this will start, I believe, I don't know exactly what the how long it is. A lot of these um, remote starters, when you put it in the car and everything, it'll start the truck, but then you have to, ha it's, I think it's like 27, I think 27 minutes and then this car my truck will shut off the only way I can be able to drive with it already started is I still need to take this key put it in the ignition like that and I just turn it up like that to start so I don't turn it all the way to crank it I don't turn it all the way to crank it I just turn it all just to the set last switch there is so now I can start driving my truck and I can head out and everything so I'm gonna go through. Oh, he moved my, changed my seat setting. All right, so I'm gonna head home now, and then when I get home, I will look under the hood to see what he put in, if there's anything different, which there's obviously gonna be something different. And then I talk to him again about if my screen is able to hook up the second camera to it, so I can be able to see all the stuff. He said he doesn't know. He reached out to, texted someone. He'll call, text me and reach out to me and everything about it and see what there is. But everything looks good. Now I'm going to start heading out. Don't know what that was all about. The video filed, the video just stopped recording. It said repairing file, so I might miss some stuff. But I'm gonna go through that box, look at the manual, read it, and for because I forget what he said, how to use the remote starter. I don't know if I have to unlock the car first, then hit the remote, or if I hit double tap the remote to start it, or if I hold it. Um, but I'm gonna go over that again and I'll get all the information and I will make sure to put their store name and everything in description. But I'm on my way home right now and when I get there I will continue and talk to more about it and I will show what's under the hood and everything. Or if you guys think it would fit better on my truck or look better, uh, put it in description and if I say, say I find one person that's comments that I'll check it out if I like it then I'll put his I'll say his username or his YouTube channel in my next video and when I go to do that upgrade um, and I'll try to give out shout outs but spot and then I will look under the hood to see what he added actually before I do that I'm gonna look at the box and I'm gonna prop you guys on the dash 
I don't know how you guys look, if you guys can see me that good or if it's too dark or whatever. I hope it's not. Yeah, so this is a a compass star, is what it's called. 925S one-way remote starter system. Uh, good range up to 1,500 feet max. Remote start, keyless entry, limited time, li limited lifetime system warranty. So it says contents. Two one-way remotes up to 1,500 feet range. Ant app, AP remote antenna. A CM900 remote starter module. Alright, I'm going to open up the windows because it is kind of getting hot in here. Alrighty. Um... It says blade ready compatible. So I think that means if my key was the ones where I push the button and it goes bing, I guess you can chain put it into this or something. I don't know. All right, let's look on the inside. Here's the second key. Like I said, it came comes with two keys. And here are the instructions. Oh yeah, he did wire some stuff. There's loose, little bit of loose wires in here. Like when he cut off the ends and stuff. Alrighty, so there's a warning. This car is equipped with a remote control start engine device. Check vehicle owners de to determine how to disable before working on car. Little safety warning sticker. Comes with two stickers. Oop. For the name of this remote starter and then auto security. All right, let's check this one. So here's the, that's Spanish. If anyone knows Spanish, there you go. You can read that. Um, it says, quick start card. All right, so tap the lock button to lock your doors and arm your vehicle. Hold this button for 3.5 seconds, so three and a half seconds to activate panic or vehicle locator. Oh, all right. So on normal cars, it's like the red button, like uh, this one or the caravans, I know they're on the back. Um, so if I hold the lock button. All right, guys, so sorry for that last cut. Uh, I just got a phone call. Um, but yeah, so if I hold that lo the lock button right here, this one, it sets the panic button off. So then your alarm starts going off. Tap the unlock button to unlock your doors or disarm and disarm your vehicle. So the unlock button. Hold this, I don't have this. This button is the trunk, but I don't have, I have a bed, but I have to unlock it manually to drop it. And then auxiliary one, press and hold trunk plus start button for 2.5 seconds. Then tap the trunk release button. Auxiliary two, press and hold trunk start button for 2.5 seconds and then tap the start button tap these two buttons at the same time to turn your, your valet mode off turn ignition on and tap the two buttons to turn on hold them for 2.5 seconds to turn off your shock sensor which i don't know what that means tap these two buttons at the same time to turn your horn and siren chirps off on or off tap these two buttons to activate passive locking arm your system will lock and arm if, after 30 seconds if enabled okay all right so whatever that says do that and then what's the other piece of paper Oh, programming instructions. So, kidoki, and then what's this one? Oh, this is just the wiring 
schematic for the remote starter. Alrighty, let's put the spare key somewhere. After I just lost it. Where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. Alright, let's put all that back in there. Alright, let's shut the windows, go look under the hood. 